your point, there's so many books. You walk in, there's self-help books. People gift you over the holidays. Here's a self-help book. But the book is on the shelf. And we all struggle with translating those words to a better life. It's We do the hashtag, living my best life. Right, right, Meanwhile, right. we go off the computer and start crying. Right, it's like... 100%. <laughs> I think one of the ways we get there is by being more real. This is why I'm so happy to be on this show right now. I'm so grateful that you are telling the truth. Thank you so much. No. But the more, yes, right? <laughs> Bring that. Uh, the more real, the more authentic, the more, uh, you know, when people say like, oh, how are you doing? Everybody's like, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. You know, maybe you just be like, eh, I'm having a little bit of a tough day. Like, yeah. that's okay. It's okay. Tell the truth. And the more we are grounded in that truth, the more we become free. You know, you talk about struggling for years to get pregnant mm -hmm. and having your child, and then even after having your child, having a setback because, and, and I bring that up, because people expect, again, like a self-help guru not to have problems. <laughs> That's right. You know, when I read that you spiraled into a depression, That's it's right. like, wait a minute. She's teaching me how to be her, my best life, mm -hmm. and she was crying the same time I was crying. Mm -hmm. Why tell us that? Well, first of all, I spoke very openly about how it took me three years to conceive. Mm -hmm. In my book, Super Attractor, I talk all about the spiritual journey that led me to surrender completely and fully. And for all the mamas out there that are trying to conceive, surrender is the answer. It truly is. Because then you let God step in and show you how that baby's coming Doesn't to that you. apply to life in general, surrendering life? I mean, I told you on the yes. commercial break, my son is eight months. I spent two days this week. Could, I couldn't sleep. I yeah. haven't had sleep worrying about preschool in New York. Everyone's mm. like, you got to start applying now. He's yeah. eight months. Yeah. And I'm looking through the list like, I'm about to do one of these, these college scams that's to get right, my kid right. in. You know, but in all seriousness, I was well, a wreck. And I just said, I have to surrender. So whether you're trying to conceive or this job that you want, a relationship, doesn't it all revolve around surrendering? And I that's I had hard. to learn that surrender more than ever because you mentioned the postpartum experience. Yeah. And I want to speak about this because so many women suffer and they don't speak about it. Uh, when I was four months postpartum, Postpartum, I surrendered, had to surrender more than ever in my life before because I was hit with postpartum depression, anxiety, and insomnia. But you're saying this. Here I was having written seven self-help books and you know, telling everybody meditate, you'll feel fine. But my meditation wasn't working anymore. And so, you know, I had to take a medicated path. I am finally sitting here with you now with a lot of authority saying I am I'm very aware of what mental illness looks like today.